Talking to close friends or family about final wishes can be a hard conversation. It means you have to face the reality of losing someone you love. But professionals who specialize in end-of-life care say that discussion is necessary, even beneficial, because they can help people create and fulfill goals. A lot of times, final wishes come out in the form of a bucket list. Terminally ill patients working through each wish without the luxury of time on their side can get stressed or even distracted. But as Local 6's Brianna Connor shows us, a woman with cancer says she's doing it to make memories her family will have long after she's gone. Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit of pressure. It's on an ordinary overcast Sunday there afternoon, Nora Droney is learning everything she needs to know to accomplish something that for her will be extraordinary. Yeah, and then you go. Do that. From equalizing her ears to fitting goggles on her face. Pretty good seal, isn't it? Fit, fit. I wear a CPAP machine every night, so I know about this. Okay. Now there is nothing stopping Nora from scuba diving at Mermet Springs. I want to get this done before I go. At Lourdes Hospice, Community Relationship Manager Shanna Poindexter says she hears that a lot. People are looking at death and dying differently. Compassion comes along with creating a team to help people live the way they want while they can. What we may think their goals need to encompass, which may be um, staying out of pain or staying comfortable or staying with their family, their goals might be totally different. Working on a bucket list with friends and family can be an important part of their care. Their positive experiences, we all need to talk about that. But for Nora, the chance to scuba dive is the strength she needs to fight against the cancer in her colon, lymph nodes, and liver. All right, push the little right down. Now she's ready to scratch this item off the list. Her brother Freddie keeps close as Nora gets further away from the dock during the dive he helped plan. You doing okay, sis? It just seems so much to me that he would go to all this to make me happy. A mission accomplished, though that's not always the case for every patient. We encourage them because we want to reach towards these goals or their bucket list items, but you have to be realistic too. Nora knows she may not get to finish her list, but that isn't bringing her down on a day like this. I love being in water. But eventually, exhaustion takes over, and she heads back to dry land with a little help after accomplishing a lot. Dry land. All right. And for Fred, the memories made will certainly last. There are things in your life you never forget. This is one of them. Nora says her bucket list grows every day. That's wonderful. Thank you. Like I said, all I got now to do is get this off without falling down. And that gives her the will to focus on what's important. You got to live. Don't be afraid to live. And I always was, but I'm not anymore. Because the only thing scarier than dying from cancer is living with fear. In Johnson County, Illinois, I'm Brianna Connor, WPSD Local 6. Wow, what a story. Mm. Do you have anything on your bucket list? Uh, I think I'd like to travel more. Yeah. Go to every state in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, something like that. What about you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> a lot. I want to see the pyramids. I want to oh. see the Great Wall of China. I really want to skydive. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I have to skydive <laughs> before I die. I, I I, I'd be it. terrified, but I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if not a bucket list, Lord's Hospice workers encourage everyone to at least have a living will, whether they're sick or not. That's important, and Nora's doctors told her she would live two years with chemo, but she has chosen not to have treatment so that she'll have the strength and energy to keep working on that bucket list. Yep.